hey, 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 Melody ears. It's time for college. And you know what that means. Lots of packing and cleaning. Say goodbye to your childhood and clean everything from last year. Uh, oh, 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 that's a bit embarrassing. Um, let's focus on something else, shall we? Um, hints and tips. This is a hay fever session. Let's play Where's Eleanor? So here are my top three tips on how to get an education. Look after yourself. Take care of planet and learn. You could get one of these. Or wear a funny hat. So class, let's look at how to take care of yourself. The first thing you need is oxygen. Nice, slow, deep breaths. Personally, I love oxygen and I like to do a bit of deep breathing to help me with any stress. I like to go outside with lots of fresh air and exercising will also help you get some more oxygen. And water, water. I love water too. So I recommend getting a water filter that's kind of inexpensive so that you can help the planet by not having a lot of water bottles and that excess plastic. And in the cities, sometimes the water can upset you, so it will be good to have that water filtered. And fiber, number three. What goes up must come down. Your day is better if you move through it. Number four, amino acids. This will help with your brain. So for some of you that will mean eating meat, or for others, finding a good substitute. For example, egg. A good source of iron will be great. Wrong way. <laughs> Number five, sunshine. Yes. <laughs> you Sun can get this by going outside, doing some sun baking. Just make sure you put on some sunscreen so you can be nice and safe. Sun safe. Flip, slop, slap. For most of you, that will mean vitamin D, along with zinc, which is great for your immunity. Finally. Oh. And finally, sleep. I'm bringing my own pillow. Eight hours a night will see you right. It also helps with weight loss. If your residency is in one room, then you'll be working in confined spaces. So, when you pack, I suggest rolling your clothes. This will save you some ironing when you unpack your suitcase and also allows you to pack more. <laughs> your room to make it your own space so you can use fun images, posters, pictures, um, certificates, memorabilia, inspirational quotes and you can laminate them to make them last a lot longer and prevent damage. And I just use blue tack to stick it to any surface that I want. I want it on the wall here and to da it is stuck and it's not causing any damage to the wall. So, ta-da, now I have a decorated space. It's also good to organize yourself with some storage. So I have some accordion files here um, and I can keep some administration in if I figure out how to do this. Time to organize. I have these accordion files to organize my paperwork. So I also have one for my songs, but you can also have important administration like taxes and bills and um, applications. It's 
scholarships, grants, you name it, you can put it in these accordion folders and I just put them in alphabetically. This is my music one though, because I'm a singer, so I've got my music here. And that keeps everything in a place where I know it will be, and it's pretty compact. And I can just carry it with me if I need to go anywhere. You can use a range of different folders or filing types to organise your paperwork. But if you're in a really confined space, it may help to save things digitally, and then you'll have everything you need in one place. But it's good to have your supplies organised before you're at college, college and uni. So Melody is, I hope those hints and tips will help you on your way to a great career. Most of you.